So I'm doing Peninsula Chimps, but with no infinite range towers, and this is a bit interesting because usually strategies for this would rely on things that have infinite range. For example, Heli, Apache Prime, Downdraft, uh, Sub Commander, things like that. I also, there's one exception to that. I can buy Snowstorm, but I can't use the ability ever. That's just because I'm going to be placing stuff on ice, and the Snowstorm has a much bigger range than Arctic Wind. And it's just kind of a, a pain to work with, like, lots of Arctic Winds instead of two or three snowstorms. Uh, so the hero I'm using is Pat, because the only options available are Pat or Oban. Every other hero has an infinite range attack. Uh, for example, Striker, he's got the concussive shell, which you could avoid by not using it, but also the, uh, the buff that he gives, which makes Black Bloons weaker, is full map range, and he's also got some full map buffs to bombs and mortars. So that's uh, disallowed here. Uh, I figured Pat would be a bit better because Pat can beat round 40, and I guess Oban could as well with Brambles, but anyway. So in this early game, I'm just going for Pat and an Airburst starts, but I'm not going to get intel because that's banned. I didn't like uh, restrict any upgrades in the editor just because like I know what the towers do, I can just not use the ones that are banned. So I'm going to turn that into a reactor, but I'm only going to do it when I have enough money to just buy it outright, because I can't use the infinite range intel. I can use it as a reactor when it's got the finite range. So what I was doing there is just testing to see that I can put a bomb and an ice down, because I wanted my balloon impact there, but I also want the arctic wind there so I can put maulers, and the strategy I'm going for is maulers and permaspike. Uh, permaspike is there mostly because I couldn't find a good way to beat round 100. Uh, like, I can't use assassins, which is usually what Mauler strats would do. And can't use homeland either, because that is a global buff. So to beat 36, I had a Berserker Brew and Smart Spikes, which uh, the Smart Spikes actually helped out a lot here. Uh, gave me some buildup for the first wave, and then everything er there after that was uh, pretty smooth. So for round 40, I have to black border 39 into 40 because I need the pat slap to do a lot of damage to the Moab and knock it back. And then the deadly spikes can take care of most of the insides. So now I'm gonna get that sub to reactor, and so from here I'm just gonna start building yeah, my ice and my maulers. So I cut to round 86 where I've got uh, part of my setup done. I've got uh, a snowstorm, an arctic wind, and uh, like I think it's like 12 or 13 maulers there. Basically going to fit as many as I can within the village range. And then I'm going to start building another platform of maulers on the left side. I also got my permaspike. I was able to get that in the middle of round 79. And so that uh, definitely helps a lot with the maulers because it uh, provides cleanup and that's really useful when you don't have a concussive shell, you can't have Sabo, and really I don't even have space for a Moog glue. So any of that, like, it's there's a lot less control involved, and also the Maulers themselves are weaker because I don't have the massive buffs that Striker Jones provide. Anyway, so I exited out there for a bit because I was making a save, uh, because AMD Acid Mixture Dip doesn't reload, or it doesn't save when you reload. So I needed to make something there because Permaspike is soloing all of the DDTs here. The, there's no Striker Jones buff, so the Maulers just can't pop black at all. So like you see there, none of those DDTs got any damage until all the way at the end. And I got a Snowstorm, so I'm just building up my left platform and getting even more Maulers. And the perm spike is doing a good job at cleanup and dealing with the DDTs. I think it's also possible that this could work with a uh, press spam instead of Mahler spam. Uh, they are good at like pretty much most of the same things, which is dealing a lot of mob damage. They don't have that great cleanup. Uh, and both of these can be dealt with impact as well as the snowstorm on the right hand side that is like providing a platform 
It's also uh, freezing the balloons in place over a pretty big range there because it's uh, got a large range inherently and it's being buffed by primary mentoring. So anyway, I died on 96. Uh, hopefully the reload stuff doesn't screw me over too much. The only thing major that I'm losing is the stim stimulant buff on the perma spikes because uh, acid mixture dip isn't going to come into play until 99 when all of these spikes that are on the ground when I died are uh, expired anyway. So the lack of drones is definitely noticeable uh, on rounds like 97, especially where you would be using the concussive shell a lot of times and it wouldn't have popped so late if you had the almost constant stun up on it. And I got a concoction near the end of 98. Uh, I was delaying getting it in this attempt because I thought that I didn't want it to turn stuff into too many ceramics at once for the maulers to handle. That turned out to be a mistake, I probably should have gotten it earlier, but I had it at the back because I wanted to apply on round 100, and I also uh, don't want it to apply in range of the maulers. So for round 100 what I did here was I was thinking I could get a mob shredder spikes or something, but there was no spot for it. Uh, all of my ice is taken up by the maulers. And so all of this is just uh, sitting here. And I wasn't sure how big my spike pile was. But again, because of the acid mixture dip and the stronger stimulant, you only have one shot at round 100. And it didn't work. So I had to go back to my save, uh, which was on round 91. So not too far back. But what I did here was, basically I saved up a bit more money, so I got a couple less mob maulers, and I got a mob press for uh, round 100, and also to help a bit on 98, and I also got the concoction earlier. Because concoction is really good with perma spike, uh, especially if you can clump everything together. The perma spike doesn't really care about how many ceramics there are, just how much RBE is uh, coming towards it, so concoction is definitely a good synergy with that. Uh, like uh, you can see here that I didn't get a second uh, snowstorm on the left, and I also chained my village and ice placements just to optimize it for space. I also don't really know why I died on 96 the first time. Uh, it didn't seem like I should have died, but the second time worked fine. Back to 97 with about the same amount of maulers. I've got a mob press. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't reach anywhere. It would have been nice to have it helping out with ZOMGs to push them back a little bit, separate them from the BFBs, but that's uh, not how it turned out. So I'm just going to get my concoction up as soon as possible. Uh, so that if any MOABs and other stuff come that way, then it'll take up less space on the perma spike pile. So I, I leaked a lot of stuff there, but it, it's probably fine. I got a sticky bomb just to help with uh, round 100 and a base village for range. The sticky bomb, like, it does a little bit of work, not that much, but... It's the best I can do on Peninsula, where I don't have room for a spike factory or something like that. And because of the placement and the range, it can hit uh, almost everything. I used the hug on one of the ZMGs to separate them, and allow me to do some damage here. And look at that, there was no spikes left at all, so that was just perfectly using up every perma spike. 